Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering with me, you lad. We are starting off the week with uh, a little bit of a simple one. We are getting straight into it with a Celestia kind of... Um, just create a crap ton of creatures deck. That's basically what this is. So we have some Gilded Goose or Gilded Geeses. Flower Flourish for that card draw just in case. Prison Realm, Rally to the Throne, Favor or Elder. This is a really good ramp card, by the way. I always like, I always look over this card, but it is really good. Knight of the Autumn to be able to destroy artifacts and enchantments. Also to heal ourselves. We have Pledge of Unity, Wicked Wolf, Trostani, and two March of the Multitudes. That is about it, really. Like, nothing really more about this deck. The problem that I found, like I played a couple of games, it doesn't have that good of an early game, which is kind of a big problem. I, I actually think that I wanna, let's see here, where is the, where is the little bastard? Uh, it's an elemental. I think I wanna add the Leafkin Druids instead of the Gilded Geese, Gilded Gooses, and maybe remove the Wicked Wolves and add some white removal right here. I think we should have Unbreakable Formation could actually be really good. Um, but let's see here. What is it called? Um, Conclave Tribunal. That is the one that I'm looking for. I think we only want two. Or actually, let's just have two Prison Realms and four Conclave Tribunal. Tribunal. I prefer Conclave Tribunal over Prison Realm anyway. So I feel like it's way better. Um, maybe we should add, like, I, th I feel like we need something like cheaper, something more early game. Like we have a lot of three drops here, let's be honest. I think we can actually remove the Pledge of Unity here. Um, or maybe not. Pledge of Unity is actually really good. Oh, what's that white creature? There's a white creature. I think it's Convoke. Um, yeah, this Loxodon. This is actually a really good card. So let's add two of him as well. It's basically like um, um, Pledge of Unity, but this is a creature as well. So, but you have to tap the creature, which is, I guess, a little bit worse. But you know what? That's acceptable. Now let's get some shield mates in here as well. I kind of like the shield mates being, maybe not. Maybe actually Huatlis Raptor is better. Yeah, I think it's just playing better. Yeah, it's definitely just playing better. Do we want four raptors? Maybe we do. What would we remove for the raptors? Two flower flourish? flourish? Yeah, sure. I just customized the deck just like in the middle of a video, but you know what? That doesn't matter. What matters though is that you guys remember to subscribe and hit that bell for some more Magic the Gathering content. You don't want to miss out. I promise you. Um, let's get into the game. Togazur. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I don't know if I've been, like, real, having some really crappy luck lately. Or if I'm just, like, I, I don't know, I might be, like, super Pepe game. But this is basically the hands that I've been drawing. Like, I played, like, five or six games with this deck. And i just been drawing that, like, this freaking, what? What is this? God damn it. Throw away March of the Multitudes. We don't have many creatures in our hand anyway. Like, this is so frustrating. Like, this is so annoying. Okay, just give me one for us, please. Thank you. Like, this is so annoying. I'm, I'm just getting, like, hands with only one type of mana or hands with, like, basically no mana, which is even worse. And it's super frustrating. Uh, let's get a planes as well. Boom, there we go. And let's see what we can do with these Knights of Autumn. I know that this is going to be get, become a big thing. Because he is obviously playing a uh, Cavalcade of Calamity deck. Let's play the Fa uh, Faber Elder though. Get a Defender out there. Then next turn we play Knight of Autumn. Oh, of course he shocks it. I probably should have played Knight of Autumn to begin with actually. Just make it a 4-3, just so to make sure that he can't shock it. He has to spend some more mana. 
Oh, this already feels started? bad. Maybe I just should no? heal a crap ton with Too an Ace of Autumn. Though I don't have like any good blocker if I do. Which is a big problem. I should definitely heal though. I feel like that's something that I definitely should do. Should I? Yeah, I think this is actually the play right now. Conclave Tribunal away, Chandra. Hopefully he doesn't have another Chandra in his hand. Because she deals a lot of damage. Especially if he can get a Calvocate out. So um, this is just like the best choice, really. Now we want to play one of these as a defender to begin. Oh, wait. No, we don't. Trostani Discordant. Go. That is my defender. Remove this, bitch. Freaking two twos for days. And next we play a Knight of Autumn. And we play it to heal ourselves because it's still a 3 2. Oh, well. Apparently he. Like, he drew a lot of land, let's be honest. Like, he's playing an aggressive deck and he has 5 land out. That is bad. That is really bad. So, well, that went surprisingly smooth. Let's actually spend this mastery thing on the mastery tree before. Like, I think I might be able to finish this mastery tree. Like, I just need 2 more orbs. Um, but I'm kind of not sure. When do I get my next orb? Level. 98, that's like a, a way away, let's say. I would love this, though. That would actually be really cool. But we'll see if I reach a level 100. Might not. Because I think this, like, this is removed the 16th, because the 16th is the release date of another magic set. So I think that is, that is like, the limit. And I might be able to do it, but we'll see. Like the 16th, isn't that... That's Thursday. We're definitely on Friday gonna do a video about... Um, Theros Beyond Death. That is a, like that is definitely a thing. This is an okay opening hand. Maybe, like... A little too heavy on the Conclave Tribunal. Other than that, it's kind of okay. Um, might as well play this and enter it tapped. Because we can't really play anything this turn anyway. Doesn't matter. Let's pet the wolf. Change it to... Ah, oh, well, I guess we'll go with this, like, red wolf color. Oh, it's a color and familiar deck. How fun. Let's Conclave Tribunal the crap out of this. It's gonna go away forever. A Leafkin Druid. I'm kind of... Oh, wait, this destroys artifacts. Yes. We're definitely playing Night of Autumn and killing the uh, Witch's Oven. That is that is my solution right now. That's going to be so good. Like, fuck your cat. It's dead now. You threw it in the oven. Here we go. He could bring it back right now, but I don't think he's gonna. Let's see here. Knight of Autumn. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Hell yeah. Fuck you, Oven. Get out of here. And no cats for you, basically. This actually feels like really good. Next turn we can play a planes as well. We can get Trostani Discordant out. It feels really good. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna Conclave Tribunal the crap out of that as well. Needs to get sent away. And it's really good because, like, we can play uh, Planes, Trostani, Discordant. Then we can convoke the Conclave Tribunal to send her away. That is definitely the plan. Okay. Boom. Trostani, Discordant. Boom. And Conclave Tribunal. Boom. Away with you. There we go. Yeah, you can hit me this turn. That's fine. Then I can play a Knight of Autumn and heal myself instead. Hmm. Okay, that's a little bit frustrating. 
but it might be fine. Let's see. Play you, heal ourselves. Or no, do we? Like this is a this is kind of a weird play. Or and it doesn't does it matter to me? Can he destroy artifacts? I don't think I don't think he can destroy enchantments, let's be honest. What we could do, we could destroy our own enchantment, and then he has to like send away one of his legendary creatures, and then we can conclave tribunal, the one that's left. But I don't think he can destroy enchantments. So we're just gonna heal. Um do we convoke this? I think we do. Boom, there we go. Send you away yet again. Do we swing with these two? Yeah, I think we do. Let's heal ourselves a little bit. They have lifelink, so it's very nice. That was a weird block, I gotta say. It was a weird choice. Why, like... Whatever. I'm not gonna question it. I feel like we have the advantage right now though, but the problem with this deck that I just realized is that we do not have a lot of ways to um, draw cards. That is a big problem. Um, okay, so he wants to draw a card from the cat. Might as well kill it. Mm. Might as well, right? Then we attack with everything. Maybe I should have attacked with the Trostani Discordant as well. I think that would have been the play, actually. Just one more damage in, basically. So there we go. So he has six mana out, and, like, if I think through his deck, like, what he probably has, the biggest threat is him getting another... Oh. Why did he not kill Trostani? Like, what is wrong with you? Kill the buffer. He has to have another one, right? Otherwise it would be, like, entirely useless. Let's enter that tapped. And let's attack with you, you, and you. There we go. He chooses to trade. Ooh. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked, let, let's be honest. Like, it was an equal trade. That's fine. Because it can't block anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Ooh, that touch. That that does matter. Pay adamant. Yes, do it. There we go. We got some new cre creatures out there. Um, I think we attack like that. Yeah. We'll see if he blocks with Foulmire Knight. Ah, there we go. He chooses to kill off my my little buffer of mana. But I feel like that is fine. We don't really need him anymore. So it was better than him killing the soldier that has lifelink and actually deals damage. Like, proper damage. I think he just realized that this can't block. God damn it. Like, he is drawing cards so much, and is so frustrating. I guess they technically don't have one, plus one plus ones on them. Um, so maybe it's better to save it. Like, can we actually pull a useful creature, a little bit of a, like, that buffer? I need more of them. Like, I only put in two, maybe I need four. I need something more dangerous. I feel like this is like I'm stuck at this power point. 
And that is bad, obviously. It is a bad thing. So, uh, I'm kind of not sure what to do about this. That is, that is the problem. Because at some point, he will start getting that freaking cat out again. And I'll need to destroy, like, the oven. It's just a mess at this point. God damn, why does he have so many knights? Like, it's such a weird thing to have in that deck. Ah, oh, god damn it. Let's play the adamant. Boom, heal me by five. That's fine. If we can get another Trostani and maybe that freaking elephant that buffs stuff, that would be great. That would actually be the best. Because then we start getting 3-3s three and it becomes way... Like, he can't really kill 3-3 three, three creatures. I realize, like, most of his things can actually kill 2-2s. Two so, that is starting to create a problem for us. Another Witch's Oven. God damn it. He is, like, pulling everything he needs and it's so frustrating. He is pulling perfectly. Though he is pulling a lot of cards comparatively. Like, he's pulled se 6 cards more than me. Um, so, I mean, it, maybe it's not that strange. Let's be honest. God, I hate that cat. I hate that cat so much. I don't think it's worth blocking here. Not yet. Freaking god damn it, this game. Ugh, it's so frustrating. Like, I had a really bad day as well, so... I might be a little bit more agitatable than usual. God damn. We need buffs. Because at this point, the only thing we need are buffs. We maybe need Pledge of Unity as well. I might just do this into a pure, like, token deck. I think that might be a better solution, actually, than what I'm, like, playing with now. Um, yes, token buff deck. Going wide and just buffing the crap out of the tokens. I feel like that is probably the solution at this point. Today, please. <coughs> Thank you. It's a lost game. I don't think, like, even if we would start pulling buffs, we would be, like, out of it. I feel like... Like, I hate decks where I don't draw cards. That is the problem, but at the same time, like, what do you put in this deck that actually draws cards? Let's be honest, there's not a lot of stuff here. What could we do? Draw. Uh, we could do Season of... No, not really. I, I, I kind of don't like that. Um, Great Henge could actually be legit. Okay. So, I have a plan. Can I make one? I don't have rares, right? Nope. As always, let's add two Great Henges as well. And um, let's remove one Conclave Tribunal. Oh no, we definitely need those. Let's remove a Rally for the thron Throne. Quadless Raptor even. Um, so that feels a little bit better, like a little bit of card draw at least. Though this might be just like a bit too expensive. Um, yeah, it might actually not work out, let's be honest. Um, let's see here. What do we have to draw cards with? Happily Ever After? No. Gift, Smothering Tithe. I'm kind of not sure. Like, this is starting to frustrate me a little bit. Not gonna lie. How many creatures do we have? Thank you, not what I was looking for. There we go, 22 creatures. So actually adding Beast Whisperer could be a good solution to this. Let's add four Beast Whisperers. We need to m remove two of something. And... 
to be honest, I think that might be one of you and uh, maybe a rally for the throne. Like it's not like it is good. It heals us a lot, but other than that, it's not super useful. Let's play one more game. This might be a little bit of a longer video, but you know what? We haven't done a long one in a while, I feel like, so that's kind of fine. Kyuju. The problem is, like, I feel like every time I play, I just feel like I would want to go, like, bigger. I would maybe just want to go, like, a stompy green deck or something like that. It feels like token decks aren't maybe that good in the current meta, which is, like, very possible. I haven't even seen, like, a token deck used in a while. So it wouldn't surprise me. But I still want to make it work, you know? This is kind of a good start, though. We got the Beast Whisperer. We'll play the Leafkin Druid next turn. Then we can play the Beast Whisperer. Then we can start playing out things to draw cards from the Beast Whisperer. Though maybe we should wait until we actually pull something to draw with the Beast Whisperer. Because, like, this is, this is nothing, basically. We don't have anything that we can use right now. Could play Rally for the Throne next turn. It kind of depends on what he does. Because, like, if he plays a... Well, he doesn't... He doesn't play a creature, so... Now nah, we can wait with Rally for the Throne. Do we want to cast Beast Whisperer, though? I feel like he's a blue deck, and I kind of don't want to do it just yet. It feels dangerous. It feels like it's a trap. Plus, like, Rally for the Throne is an instant, I just realized. Like, he is not casting anything. Which is actually kind of insane. But, you know what? Guess that's okay. I just want him to cast a creature. At that point, we can play the Beast Whisperer quite safely. Because blue-white usually doesn't have that much that can... Oh, well, there we go. Doesn't have that much that can actually kill creatures. So the Beast Whisperer will just sit there drawing cards for us. Do we run the throne here? Mm, not yet. There we go. Beast Whisperer out. Play another planes. No stuff happening. Let's see what it does. I would want to get, like, next turn Trostani Dis Discordant out and then, like, Rally for the Throne. That would be my perfect, like, that, that would be my preferred... Thing to happen. I think it's gonna happen. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, boy! There we go. We got a lot of stuff going on. Could actually. Could do a cheeky little convoke here. Tap or convoke. Convoke. Let's convoke everything here. Boom, there we go. Creature spell. Boom, and everyone gets a plus. Ooh, that's a spicy play. I like that. Now, this is starting to feel good. Like, we're starting to build up quite a good, um, quite a good deck right there. Or, like, a board, rather. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It feels really good. We could maybe march to the multitude next turn and. We could get eight one ones or two twos technically with lifelink. That would be sick actually. That would actually be really, really good. I think we're gonna attack with the venerated Loxodon. I think like obviously, why wouldn't we? Um Like am I greedy? How much do I want from the March of the Multitudes? We could be really greedy. Yeah, we're gonna be greedy. I just love being greedy, let's be honest. Adamant, rally for the throne. Give me two twos. Come on. There we go. Thank you. And um, you know what? I think we're going to swing here. 
can't kill this even if he would like block with everything, so might as well. And I guess he's blocking like a, the 4-5 with his 2-5. Oh, that's what I would do. I feel like that is the, the definitive like solution. Okay, he does not. Interestingly enough. I'm not quite sure why he doesn't, but you know what? That's fine. Got some damage in. Real good. We got some life link in. Next turn we're gonna be like 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 we might just swing next turn, let's be honest. We might be able to kill him. So there's no point in like dragging this game out more than it needs to be dragged out. Ah, oh, time wipe. Hmm. Oof. That was a good time wipe. Mm, let's see here. Favor Elder. Let's play that. End of turn. Next turn we play another Favor Elder and a Tristani Discordant. Then maybe a Knight of Autumn. We'll see kind of what he does. We have a lot of like weaponry in our hand, which is like good. This is like a good situation I, to be in, I feel like, because. Most of our mana costs are covered by this. Like we can play, we can just play Tristani. We could have a little bit more mana, maybe, but um, this is actually like kind of perfect. This is really good. Actually, pulling a land next turn would be perfect. Sphinx of New Prob. They're actually really cool. Not gonna lie. That is also okay, I'd say. I think we do Tristani now rather than later. I would be very surprised if he suddenly just threw out a uh, like a counter spell. That would actually surprise me because he hasn't used a single counter spell this turn, like this entire game. I would be like, "What the crap? The fuck? No attacks in turn." I feel like we want to march the multitudes quite soon. Like he had a one time wipe, he could have another one on his hand. Let's be honest, it's very possible. Though it's really good that we have another Tristor uh, ooh, Tristani. Trist Tristani. Yeah, Tristani. So that's really good. So it, it would actually be fine if he time wiped right now. Azorius Knight Arbiter. There we go. That's a title. Okay. That feels like a weird target to tap. Ah, I see. I see. So he probably doesn't have a time wipe. Otherwise he wouldn't waste like double cards to actually like kill off one of my creatures. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, did I ac accidentally play the Knight of Autumn? Feels bad. Okay, that's fine. That is actually kind of good when I think about it. Both of these have Vigilance, though, so we can't really do anything about them. Huh. Maybe this is the time to play March of the Multitudes. Do they get haste? They don't, right? No, we just create a crap ton of white soldier tokens. So I feel like 
this is the time to uh, march the multitude next turn with all our mana and all our creatures to create a crap ton of one ones then we play another Tristani to swing in heavily and hopefully win the game that is my plan I'm sticking to it Oh right, it can't block that. Block. Wait, why can't I? Okay, this is actually kind of good as well. We'll pay the life. Uh, let's see. That should be eleven. I think. All to pay. There we go. That's a Convoke. It's a big boy Convoke as well. If he has a Time Wipe now, I'm going to be so... Uh, I'm, I'm just... I, I, I'm, I'm just, I just don't know what I'm going to do at that point. But that is a lot of 1-1s. One so, uh, we'll see what he does now. If he does not Time Wipe, we have one. Like, Time Wipe is the thing that could, like, ruin us right now. Hopefully he hasn't drawn another one. I don't know how many he has in his deck. I would assume, like, two, maybe? He could be, like... Like, playing with four is a little bit over the top. But it is very possible. Okay, he obviously doesn't. Otherwise, he would have Time Wipe first. So this is fine. I think he is dead now. Yeah, he definitely should be dead now. Would it be more spicy to just do this? Yeah, I think it would. There we go. Attack with everything. Good game. Good game. That is a lot of damage. Okay, we at least we won a game, so I'm I'm happy about that. Like, they were both bizarrely long. Like, I feel like it was weird how long they were. I guess none of us were really that aggressive, like in any of the games. But you know what? That's fine. That was a that was a good game. I am in a better mood, so it, it it's a good game. Well, I mean that that is it. Like, it's already a kind of a long video, so I'm gonna keep this short. I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also, remember to comment down below what you would want to see. If you have any other deck ideas that you want me to try, I will definitely get on that. Also, stay tuned for my 200 subscriber video. I'm still working on it. Sadly, it's taken a lot longer than I expected. So it's not going to be out like this week or anything like that, but hopefully as soon as possible. Also, subscribe, please. I do hope that you enjoy it and want to watch more because that is what you're gonna get if you subscribe to me hit that bell i've been you lad and i will see you guys next time goodbye